Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Adrian Somoza and this is Bond. Today we have another portfolio review and I'm gonna critique two portfolios from designers who submitted their portfolio, so thank you for that. And I'm also gonna critique my own portfolio so that you know that I don't think I'm the best example. So to review the projects, remember that my focus is gonna be on three main factors. The first one is focus, what do you do and is it clear? The, the second one is quality, how well do you do it? And the third one is presentation, how well do you sell yourself and your work? So without further ado, let me introduce my own portfolio. Now let me show you what I, what I think I, should, I could do to improve my portfolio if I were aiming to get at a job at an agency. Now, take into account that I'm not aiming to, to get a job at an, at an agency, so I'm not really worried about this, but if I were to, to get a job at an agency, I would improve these things. So the first thing that I see is that, that there's a clear description of what I do. Now, I'm an instructor at Bond, but if I were to get a job at an agency, I would just remove this and I would just say I'm a digital art director. So that's the first thing. Now, if you take a look at the end of my portfolio, you will see that there's a project here that's really not related to UI UX design. This is a book that I designed for university. So what I'm gonna do here is unpublish it. Uh, I already have enough projects, so I don't need to show that I, that I can also design a book. And I'm not really looking for a print design job, so that's the second thing that I would do, you know. And the third one is I would improve the covers of my, you know, of my projects because this too I really like, and it shows what's inside a little bit, but it's not revealing all the project at once. You know, there's a clear name to the project, and it's minimal and has the same aesthetic, so it's consistent, but then the rest of the covers are really all over the place. And probably if we get inside, uh, there's some pixelated images, so I would improve you know, the quality of that so that it's retina ready. And you know, there's a lot of improvements that I would do to this uh, portfolio if I have to go back and edit. But you know, overall, there's, the focus is good. There's a lot of projects for UX UI. So it's really clear that I that that's my focus and that's what position I'm looking for. And, you know, it also speaks to my experience. Of course, I'm not going to talk about the quality of my work because that wouldn't be appropriate. But that's the things that I think I could improve from my portfolio. Now, let's take a look at Igor Gritsyuk. He's from Ukraine and he's a graphic and UI UX designer looking for a job at an agency uh, looking for a graphic or UX UI design job. Now, right off the bat, what I'm gonna say is what I always say, focus. Uh, you're aiming at two different job positions and you're reducing the chances of getting either of those. So my suggestion is that you focus on one of those. Let's say you wanna focus on brand identity, then don't aim at doing UI UX design, design projects. I do, for example, on my portfolio, you will see that I, I have one project that is an identity design project because I usually do identities for the projects that I work with. You know, usually I work with the brand and I redesign the brand to elevate the work. But I don't promote myself as a brand designer. So that's the difference. You can work on brand identity, but not promote yourself as one. Now, if we have to evaluate the cover, this is a really good cover, but there's not enough work to evaluate if you have good experience and you know the quality of your work. Just to evaluate the quality of the work, I need to see more than one. At least I need to see three projects. So here I'm seeing one. I know that you're working on a UX UI project, so I hope you can po post that soon. But for now, let's evaluate what you have. 
what I can see here is really good. If I were to hire you or I consider you to hire you, I would ask you to show me at least uh, in private whatever work you have uh, apart from what you have posted here because again it's really little work to evaluate your experience or the quality of your work uh, but evaluating this what I can see is that there's a clear typographic system and I really like that you have good composition skills to evaluate your brand identity skills I, sh I should read the text that you wrote but overall what I see is that you can manage concepts as well so that's good for branding and that's why you are like explaining your decisions so overall I think this is a pretty solid what I would say maybe on a brand identity level you know to to really get through the idea of you know the brand and where it comes from I would love to see a visualization of how you you ended up with this logo like maybe you're explaining it in words but I would love to see you know a progression of you know the concepts and you know maybe adding two concepts to that mix together form this you know some kind of uh, visual way to explain um, how you end up with this logo and I would love to see a little bit more applications of the brand you're only using it as a logo type but what if you blow up the logo and you know it goes out of the margins of the design what if you design a pattern with with the logo you know different uses of this same logo because I think it's really interesting this logo uh, and it has a lot of potential so I would love to see that potential developed a little bit more. Overall, great job. I think you have solid skills. I would say you're a meteor, a solid meteor, um, between meteor and senior in terms of the graphic skills. But uh, you know, to, to really be a senior, you need to be able to sell the concept a little bit more, tell a bit of the story in a visual way, not only with words, but also like visualize it. Keep at it, man. Great job. Uh, and thanks for submitting. Let's move to the next one. So the next one is Wayne Creative. He says, first off, so glad to stumble upon your insightful YouTube page. It's so informative and well done. Thanks, man. I'm a motion designer based in London, and I would love to get your thoughts on my work. I'm aiming to be a good mid-designer. Aside from my website, Wayne Creative, I've got a bit of personal work on Instagram and 3D on another Instagram. So let's take a look first at his website. So when we land on the, on the website, what we see is motion concept, 3D design, fashion, branding. So again, like I say to everyone, there's a lot of you know areas in which you wanna focus right now and I would reduce those to one. Now, if you wanna focus on 3D, because what I see mostly on your works is motion and 3D, then I would do motion 3D designer or motion 3D artist, you know. In terms of the quality, um, I think it's pretty good. I really like your 3D work. Uh, I think your motion work as well has some really nice things. Maybe, maybe you're. I, th I would say you're stronger on 3D that, than you are on uh, motion design. But motion design is good as well. So you can pursue any of those if you want, or both. You know, of course, you're free to to do what you want. But I think the quality. To me, this is you know. This is really good. I would say it's senior level, but I don't. I really. I'm not really proficient on on 3D. In terms of motion design, I would say uh, maybe you're junior slash meteor. So I think you're doing good. And in terms of the presentation, I think you're doing a great job as, at presenting your work. 
I would like to see a little bit more about the process of how you do you get to those 3D renderings. Sometimes, you know, like this part, for example, where you're showing a little bit of the behind the scenes, I would like to see a little bit more of that. Like maybe a maybe you can publish, you know, a render here. Here it's animated, so that's cool. And maybe on another slide you can publish or show, you know, a little speed art where you're doing the, the work. So you record yourself while you're doing it and then you put up a video to show how you do it. But overall, I think you're presenting your work pretty well. You know, your portfolio is clear. You have the work, you have uh, your name and what you do. And you have an about where you explain your skills, clients, etc. Now, the only thing that I would, you know, maybe improve is that adding more process to your portfolio. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it and I hope that was useful and you got insights for your next, you know, redesign of your portfolio. If you want me to review your portfolio, you, you can do so by submitting an email with you know the subject portfolio review and your name a career goal like for example get a job an, at an agency and please tell me what what type of job and you know what level if you know and a link to your portfolio you can send that to info at bond dot academy now if you want me to review your portfolio on a private one-to-one -one session I also do that I'll leave a link in the description so you can book a call and you can always email us if you have any questions or doubts that's it for today guys thank you so much for your time and i will see you in the next video cheers